The compression fit technology spans a history of over 30 years. Murphy Pipeline's contractor's president, Andy Mayer, worked for British Gas during the development years and was instrumental in the introduction and advancement of the technology to North America. To date, over 28 million feet of compression fit installations have added remarkable value to clients' capital works programs. On the job site, equipment, tools, and materials are delivered, including pipe rollers, pulling equipment, compression fit die, fusion machine, and HDPE pipe. The HDPE is fused to correspond to each installation distance. While the technology can make pull distances up to 5,000 feet, for this project, 1,800 feet will be installed in one continuous pull. Butt fusion joining of high-density polyethylene pipe, or HDPE, requires that the mating surfaces are square to each other and properly prepared. The surfaces are simultaneously heated and melted with a hot plate heater. The hot plate is then removed, and the melted surfaces are pressed together and held under pressure. As the molten surfaces are pressed together, the melted ends mix, and once cooled, they fuse into a permanent monolithic joint, which is as strong or stronger than the pipe itself in both tensile and pressure properties. Proper training of the fusion technicians, including extensive quality assurance throughout the process, are utilized to ensure the success of each butt fusion joint. HDPE pipe is an inert material that will never corrode, offers a superior long-term design life of 100 plus years, can handle surge events two times its operating pressure rating, and does not leak due to fusion of the pipe sections and connections. As each joint is fused, the HDPE pipe string is pulled on pipe rollers until all 1,800 feet of pipe is fused. When working in urban environments, as in this installation, it can be difficult to lay out the entire length of HDPE pipe. For this project, two 900-foot sections are fused to prevent blocking a major intersection. During the compression fit installation, the two sections of pipe will be fused together after the first 900-foot section is almost installed. While the HDPE pipe is being fused, the host pipe is inspected either by man entry or CCTV. This confirms location and degree of bends, including identifying any obstructions. Next, the host pipe is cleaned. For cast iron pipe, metal scrapers followed by a rubber pull-through are used. Finally, a gauging pig, also called a proving pig, is sent through the host pipe. Its purpose is to ensure a free bore path and proving that the ID of the host pipe does not fall below a minimum diameter. After the insertion and receiving pit are dug, concrete is poured for bank shoring calculated to withstand pulling forces. Excavation is reduced on average by 91% compared to open cut. After the pulling equipment and extraction cage are set in the receiving pit, rods are shuttled through the hose pipe 1,800 feet until they come out in the insertion pit. The rods are attached directly to the HDPE pipe, and compression fit operations begin. The rods are then pulled back toward the receiving pit. Through liner system design, an HDPE pipe slightly larger than the ID of the host pipe is selected. For this project, as the cast iron host pipe ID is 30 inches, an HDPE pipe with an outside diameter of 32 inches is installed. Before entering the hose pipe, the HDPE passes through the compression fit die, which will temporarily reduce the diameter of the HDPE pipe. This reduction will allow for the clearance of the HDPE pipe to be pulled through the host pipe. As the HDPE is pulled through the host pipe under tension, it remains in its reduced state. The pipe remains fully elastic throughout the reduction and installation process and within ASTM standards.
As the pullback continues, the HDPE pipe passes through an intermediary pit in which a cross connection and valve will be installed after insertion of the HDPE. In the receiving pit, rods continue to be pulled back. At the end of the first 900 feet of pipe string was nearing the insertion pit. The pull is stopped and the next 900 feet of HDPE is fused on. During this process, the first section of HDPE that already entered the host pipe remains in its reduced state as constant tension pull equipment is used. Setup and fusion of the second string of HDPE to the first took around two hours. Once the HDPE fusion joint is made, compression fit operations resume until the entire length of HDPE pipe is installed. Finally, the HDPE pipe emerges in the extraction cage in the receiving pit. The 1800 feet of pipe is installed in less than one day. After the pulling force is removed, about 90% of the reversion will occur within the first two hours, though the HDPE is allowed to relax for a specific time to regain full reversion before connections are made. The HDPE pipe results in a tight compressive fit within the hose pipe which maximizes the final internal diameter 15% to 35% more than slip lining. Due to the smooth wall characteristics of polyethylene with a C factor of 150, flow rates are many times increased over the previous system hydraulics. Downhole butt fusion is used to connect HDPE pipe in the pits. Seamless and pressure tight connections back to existing host pipe using fused MJ adapters. Standard fittings transition to other pipe materials. No special end connectors are required. The HDPE can be easily tapped for any future connections. The 1800 foot compression fit installation is completed in less than one day. From mobilization to project completion took 10 working days. As communities across North America face the challenges of aging medium and large diameter water transmission and sewer force mains, compression fit is a proven technology that adds remarkable value for renewal and replacement. The method's advanced engineering agenda through research and development, coupled with its ability to meet various internal pressure requirements from thin walled to fully structural, including designing for external loading, are reasons compression fit continues to be selected by communities throughout North America.